You know, no one sets out to intentionally hire a bad contractor, and yet homeowners in the midst of remodeling or building projects do it every single day. Oh, yeah. So what can you do if a contractor takes your money and runs or just fails to show up? Well, in today's Angie's List report, we outline your options. Whether you neglected to do your research before hiring a home contractor, or even if you vetted every candidate, the sad truth is bad things can happen. Just ask homeowner James Van Gorder. He filed a complaint with Angie's List when he says a company took his money up front to do roof repairs but never came back. Well, my old sister said, well, you better call a lawyer in. Because you know, this, this guy's, I think he's trying to scam you. It took quite a hit on his wallet, but James walked away with a lesson learned. Well, that was 5000 that they got from me, but they didn't get that second check, thank God. Before you hire a contractor, you need to know what you're getting into. Angie Hicks, founder of Angie's List, says make sure you do your research. Don't hire the contractor that's not licensed. Don't hire the contractor that doesn't carry proper insurance because while those might seem like little shortcuts now, they could turn into big headaches down the road. Once you're ready to hire a contractor, Angie says make sure you create a paper trail. It should include things like a timeline, contract, receipts, and any canceled checks. Contractor Doug Lynch says everyone involved in the project should be on the same page. Be transparent with that person that's coming to look at it uh, with exactly where you stand financially, where exactly you stand uh, from a time constraint, what your desires and needs are for the completion of the project. When it comes to paying for the work, Angie says never pay the full amount up front. Angie says a reasonable down payment is acceptable. Just make sure your contract spells out the payment structure. If you find you're not satisfied with the work being done, Angie says you may have to part ways with the contractor. If you found yourself in a bad situation, it's better to cut your losses, start over with a new contractor, and get it done right. It's something Doug's seen many times. He says he's often had to finish projects for homeowners who were left in a lurch. It's not uncommon for us to get a phone call and say, hey, can you come out and take a look at this? I'm concerned this contractor I've hired uh, may not be doing this correctly or I'm having a poor experience. So what can you do if you become a victim of a bad contractor? File a complaint with your local licensing agency and your state or local contractor's board. If your contractor was bonded, the bond is a guarantee that the contractor will perform the services outlined in the contract. And if they fail to do so, you can report the problem and receive compensation. You can also seek legal action through small claims court or by hiring a private attorney. And when it comes to your research, Angie su suggests getting three bids from different contractors. That way you'll get an idea of the general price range. Then using price as one consideration, you can select your contractor based on other factors, such as creativity and flexibility. Angie says the goal when taking the time to get three estimates is a high quality project completed at a fair price. That's a return well worth your time. And sometimes you just can't do it yourself. That's right. Well, it's hard to believe that they've been around since 2005. Up next, we hear from the cast of How I Met Your Mother. Hear what they have to say about their latest milestone of 200 episodes, plus how they see their series wrapping up. But first, we want you to be part of our studio audience. To book your seat, just visit DelmarvaLife.com, click on the Show tab. There on the right side of the page, you'll see the Ticket tab. It's under for our audience. Or you can just give us a call, 443-880-9116. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back.